so today we are going to look at uh, the steps and the program how we are going to make library file in visual c++ visual studio 2008 the basic idea behind making a library file is that you want to distribute your data but you don't want to expose the code source code so you can give the data or the function or the program you have made in the form of a library file along with a header file which will not contain the definition it will just have the declaration or you say the framework of the program so let's get started we'll make two applications one application we are going to make a library file and a separate application which are which is going to use this library file for enhancing its functionality so let's get started file new project let's make a new project first we are going to make the library so windows 32 console application make it as make lib or any other name of your choice okay now this is an important uh, uh, point of your uh, making a library or a program because you have to choose static library here choose a static library and finish it because you will be provided with the basic framework or the structure of the program you will not have anything you can see only we have stdfx it does not contain anything so you make your i am adding new item i am adding new item 1.h name it as add or any other name of your choice again adding corresponding cpp with a similar name so now we have a cpp file and a dot h file so let me add a function called add so what will this function be it will be add function with return type int and to variable past this is the only thing which you have to write and the definition in dot cpp before we go ahead we'll add a not defined clause if it is not defined we'll try to define it in the program and we need to end if also so this is our add cpp but we need to write it i am cutting it we have to write it in a dot h okay this is a dot h stuff now this particular function has to be given a definition also so let's go to add dot cpp and now we'll try and give the definition here so what will be the definition again just the similar thing I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. Just a return a plus b, so it will be returned. The value being passed, the addition is going to be returned. And as we are using the program stdfx, we need to include. And again, because this is add dot cpp, we have to add add dot h also. So now we are done with this program. You don't need to do anything extra just build it build solution and i'll show you that when i open it open folder in windows explorer and when we go to make lab in the debug our library is being made so now the library file is made of the corresponding code and this is ready to be distributed or to be uh, you know be used by any other program so keeping it this in mind we are going to close this solution and we are going to make a solution which is entirely different from it just it will use the library file which we have made so we'll make file new new project windows uh, 32 console application and we'll make use lib and okay console, console application no problem finish okay 
now we have this what we have to do is we have to get those that lib file along with the dot h file okay we have to get both of them so i'll add the existing item i will go to uh, the project where it is stored because we have made it in make lib i'll go to it i'll choose this h first this will come here again i'll go because the important aspect is the library which is which i'll find in debug folder okay now we have make lib also and corresponding dot h also i am ready to add code to any cpp here we have used lib.cpp i can add the code here so what will be the code say stdfx is there we have to include dot h this is very important and i'll use stdo dot h because i i want to make it very near to the people who are actually well conversant with uh, c and c++ so what i'll do is i will just key uh, try to declare and initialize two variables say x equal to 2 y equal to say 11 and i'll print these two values first you know how to print person d and i'm going to call this function in again in a print so this is the function which i am going to use it is defined in dot lib and it is declared in dot h and you will see without exposing the code i am able to use this add so one thing is remaining i have to go to use lib go to the properties go to linker input and here i have to give additional dependencies what is the dependency is make lib so i'll just try to copy the name and place it here okay apply okay and i'll run i'll check for the any error it is there let me see what uh, what is the problem add dot h is not included in this so so i'll just go here add existing item and uh, i'll go to make lib i will find where i have this add dot h copy it i'll again go to use lib and i'll copy and paste here and let me run it again and i'll see again for the errors so i have to get the make lib also let me just go again back to my previous make lib and i'll copy it from here and i will paste it here now we have make lib also and add dot h dono both of uh, these file included here so let me run it the problem is solved and i'll just run it again just adding a line of get cat to stop the solution and again running it and this is the solution 2 and 11 they add to 13 so this is how we can make a library file and and add it in another application thank you so much take care